Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is a work and proof of concept that shows you how to leverage MuleSoft as your API management um, gateway for your Heroku application. And this API gateway is an add-on that you can add into your Heroku application. So in a previous project uh, slash video that I, I, I recently released, uh, I showed you how to actually deploy a Mule runtime into Roku. So this actually spins up a Mule runtime inside a Dino um, for your application and allows you to manage that from API manager as well as from runtime manager, deploy applications and whatnot. Um, the flip side to this is instead of deploying Mule directly into Heroku, um, have it coexist side by side as an API gateway. So within the Heroku world, there's the concept of Heroku add-ons. And these are um, services that you can spin up on the side that provide additional capability for your application. It could be a Redis, um, you know, a Redis endpoint. It could be a database. It could be a Kafka endpoint. Um, but in this case, what we're going to show you is a, a work improved concept that actually spins up a Heroku provisioning API. And this provisioning API that's called by Heroku will go ahead and leverage the AnyPoint platform APIs to deploy an application to Exchange or an asset to Exchange, um, create an entry within API Manager, and then deploy a runtime proxy um, that will sit on top of your Heroku app and allow you to apply API policies and service governance to that application without having to code that into your application, okay? And then once that's all provisioned, it'll not notify Heroku and let it know that the add-on's been provisioned, okay? So let's go ahead and jump into an example. So here we have our Heroku dashboard, and this is where as a developer, you can see all the different applications that you're working on. So what we're gonna do, go ahead and do is go into the command line, and let's go ahead and create an app. We'll, go, we'll give it an app name, mule-gateway, and then we'll run the command Heroku create uh, that app name, right? So once we go ahead and create that, it's, it, it adds that into our dashboard. We'll click refresh on here, and you'll see that app here. So for every app that you 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 build uh, within Heroku, it has its own endpoint, right? So you click an open app here. You can see that this app has that endpoint Mule Dash Gateway Heroku app. Now the idea here is to actually add another layer on top of this using MuleSoft as an API gateway layer, and through that we allows you to. Um, build in security, build in quality of service, governance policies to rate limit calls to this backend service. Um, but what we're gonna do is actually deploy this uh, add-on, right, that actually spins up a meal runtime all through the click of a button, okay? So let's go ahead and jump back over to the um, command line window and we're gonna go ahead and run this command. Um, let me find it here. So it's a Heroku add-on create. This is the add-on name, AnyPoint API gateway. We're gonna pass it in the um, the Mule uh, app name, and then also give it the credentials for my AnyPoint platform account. Um, additionally, you can see over here, this is the entry that, you know, once this gets published, if this does get published into the marketplace, this is where a developer can kind of read up on, you know, what this API proxy provides, you know, where it's available, and then also additionally the command that you need to run to actually add this into your project, okay? So let's go ahead and switch back over to the command line. Uh, we'll go ahead and click on uh, enter here and then you can see that it goes ahead and provisions it and lets you know that you can check in the creation project so project so if we come back over to the dashboard for the project and click on refresh you can see over here that that new add-on is installed uh, down here and then if we come over to the endpoint platform and let's first jump into the exchange so in the exchange, we've gone ahead and added in a asset name for that specific Heroku app, right? Mule Dash Gateway. And then over on the API management side, under API Manager, we now have a new entry in there for the Mule Dash Gateway. So in here, you can see if we go in here, um, it's currently deploying. And then if we go ahead and switch over to Runtime Manager, that API Gateway is now in the process of being spun up. So we'll give it a couple seconds and then we'll actually click on this endpoint and see that endpoint um, that's made available. Okay, we're back and you can see that it's uh, there's green light now in Runtime Manager for this application. So if you go ahead and open up this URL, you'll see that it's an API proxy now that actually routes your request to the backend um, Heroku app. And additionally, if we switch over to API Manager and I've gone ahead actually and applied a policy, 
In this case, I've gone ahead and applied a rate limiting policy. So this rate lim limiting policy only allows three requests within one minute. So if we go back over to the proxied endpoint now and we make uh, more than three calls within a minute, we're gonna go ahead and see an error message that gets returned. And again, this is a API um, uh, management or API proxy gateway now that sits on top of your Heroku application, okay? And then additionally, if we go ahead and delete this add-on, the um, provisioning API that I set up in the back end is going to go ahead and tear down all those specific components. So if we come back, uh, let's go ahead and close these screens out here. Um, if we go into Runtime Manager here, we can see that that app doesn't exist here anymore. If we go into API Management, we can go ahead and see that that uh, API doesn't exist here anymore. And then lastly, if we go into Exchange, we can see that that app has also been, or that asset has also been removed from Exchange as well, okay? So the magic to make all this happen in the background is this Heroku provisioning API. And this Heroku provisioning API is again a, a built with on the AnyPoint platform, right? So we have an API endpoint that I spec'd out with RAML, and it describes all the endpoints that Heroku is gonna call when it provisions this add-on uh, and sets up all the stuff in the back end. Um, I'll include the application uh, in the comments below. Uh, and this is a, a working app that has all the different parts that are necessary for Heroku to make the call to the AnyPoint platform APIs, um, set up the exchange asset, set up the API management uh, API entry, and then also deploy the runtime into a runtime manager. So um, here we see within AnyPoint Studio, these are all the different flows. So you can see post Heroku resources, this is the initial flow from um, the, the request from Heroku to actually spin up that endpoint. And once the request comes in, it's gonna check to make sure that the credentials have been passed in, right? The AP, AP user, the AP password, the environment name. If it doesn't match or if those are blank, it'll go ahead and propagate an error back to the endpoint user. And then once it um, checks that, it's gonna go ahead and make an asynchronous call um, to store that request into the object store and then publish that um, request also into AnyPoint MQ. And then there's a flow down here that actually is gonna pick up that request from AnyPoint MQ and then begin the provisioning process. So it's gonna go ahead and get an access token from the AnyPoint uh, platform APIs. It's gonna go ahead, add an asset to the exchange, add an API to the API manager, and then deploy the API proxy and then store um, the state of that request back into the object store. And then when the user is ready to go ahead and tear it down, it's gonna go ahead and receive that request from the delete endpoint. It's gonna retrieve the status or the, the UUID for the request from the object store. And then it's gonna go ahead and rip down all the components for that asset, right? It's gonna go ahead and delete the app. It's gonna go ahead and delete the API and then it's gonna go ahead and delete the API from Exchange as well. So uh, it's a pretty straightforward uh, app that per, you know um, interacts between Heroku and Mulesoft for this, uh, this, this add-on, uh, but essentially handles all the provisioning and deprovisioning of the assets um, in the backend to provide that API management capabilities on top of a Heroku application, okay? So hopefully this gave you a good sense of how Mulesoft and Heroku can work together. I will include a link to this project um, in the comments below, and you can go ahead and, and download it and kind of check it out and see how it's set up. Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment below, and I'll be happy to answer them. Thanks.